Like many others, I had questions about whether or not I should get a watch winder, if a watch winder would actually damage my watches, and what brand to buy. I researched a lot of different watch winders before I finally decided to get one. It's been 5 years since I made that decision and until today, I still think it was a great investment. About half a year ago, I actually bought my second, this time a triple winder with extra storage. I felt I needed another because I had added a couple of new pieces to the collection at the beginning of 2021. Based on my experience, I'm going to share my 4 ultimate reasons why I need a watch winder, things to pay attention to when using it, and how much to spend on one. I know some people don't agree with using watch winders, these are just my personal opinions on why I got one. Before we dive into those 4 reasons, let's briefly go over what a watch winder is. A winder is a device that holds a mechanical watch and simulates natural movement, like the watch is on your wrist to keep it running. Of course, if you have a coarse movement watch that's powered by batteries, you don't need a watch winder. Even if you have an automatic watch, a winder is not required, because you can always wind a watch manually to generate power if it has stopped. That being said, ideally you would want to avoid having to manually wind your watch to keep it from stopping while you are not wearing it. Now let's talk about why I need a watch winder. First, regularly rotating through watches in the collection is much more convenient with a watch winder. Of course, the benefits will vary from one collector to another. It really depends on the size of the collection. If you have only one or two watches and wear them daily, you may not need a winder because most of the automatic watches made these days have at least a 48 to 72 hour power reserve. I may not have a big collection compared to some, but if you are like me and regularly rotate through 5 to 6 main pieces, this may result in half of them stopping if they are just sitting in a regular watch box. Sometimes I may wear the same watch for a few days before I switch to another. This almost guarantees I'd have to manually wind my watch while getting ready in the morning. Yes, it's not gonna take me that long to adjust the time and wind a watch, but having to do so almost every day, especially those mornings when I'm in a rush, can get frustrating. Sometimes I would end up just putting the watch on and not adjusting it at all until lunchtime. Having a watch winder is definitely more convenient because it saves me that time. The second reason is to prevent wear of the crown over time. Before I had a watch winder, I found myself unscrewing and screwing the crown all the time. If not every day, it was at least every other. The more I used the crown, the more I realized how that could be damaging it. If I screw it in too tight, it can potentially destroy the threads. If I forget to screw the crown back all the way, I might be inviting dust and moisture into the movement. What can be even worse from frequent use of the crown is that the hacking position may become less precise, meaning that when I unscrew the crown and put the crown to the hacking position that is supposed to stop the second hand but then it doesn't. Having a winder to keep my watches running dramatically reduces my need to do anything that involves the crown. Nowadays, I only have to use it to adjust the time and realign the accuracy every month or so. Next, it's always important to properly store your watches when you aren't wearing them. Personally, I avoid putting my watches loose in a drawer because this would increase the chance of them getting scratched by other objects or even other watches. I also don't keep my watches out on an open surface, like a dresser or a nightstand. You never know when you could knock something over on top of it or bump it onto the floor. A watch winder is effectively a watch box that can keep your watches safe and dust free while also having the ability to wind them. In addition, the smooth movement of the winder adds a lot of visual satisfaction while it's running. If you get a higher quality one, it is super quiet and makes hardly any noise with the glass cover closed.
finally, I can't address enough how much visual satisfaction I gain from seeing my watches on display in a winer. This presentation of my watches is definitely elevated compared to a regular watch box, specifically in the two winers I bought from Wolf. Wolf Designs has been in the luxury leather goods business for about 180 years. This triple winer is certainly an investment, but it is packed with some pretty useful features and solid build quality. It can provide up to 900 turns per day with a start delay feature and preset pause and sleep stages. I will go into that in more detail at the end of the video. Inside, the lock-in cuff design keeps everything secure and can hold both larger and heavier watches up to 55mm in diameter. Covered in all-black faux leather with chrome clasps and control switches, it is stylish enough to not look out of place in most of the interior design styles. The glass front cover lets you see everything at work. Powered by either a DC input or batteries, it is possibly the only winder you ever need. So those were the main reasons why I personally need a watch winder. But what do you need to know next once you decide to get one? There are several things to pay attention to when picking out a watch winder. First, what specific watch or watches are you getting the winder for? As different winders have different turns per day or TPD, it's always a good idea to figure out the recommended TPD number from your watch manufacturer. Take mine as an example. The Wolf Heritage Triple Winder doesn't provide a customized TPD feature. The default is 900. A Rolex watch typically needs around 650 TPD in order to remain 100% wound for the day. That means there will be 250 extra TPD added to the watch. Now, will that 250 TPD overwind and damage the watch? No, it should not. It is safe to slightly overwind a watch because all automatic watches are protected by what is known as mainspring bridle that disengages the winding mechanism when the spring reaches maximum tension, thus preventing it from being overwound. Now, the 900 TPD are not spread evenly over 24 hours. The winder will actually run 30 minutes and then rest for 1 hour, then repeat that for a total of 12 hours. After that 12 hours, the winder will enter a sleep mode and completely stop running until the next 24 hour period starts. Next, a winder can have different features rather than simply turning in circles. Take the Wolf Heritage winder for example. There are two different controls for each individual winding module. One control switches the winder from off to on with a 10 second delay or a 12 hour delay. The reason for the 12 hour delay is to let your watch run with existing power first before it starts to wind again. I use this mode almost exclusively because I don't need my watch to be wound right away after wearing it for the day. The second control sets the direction of where the winder turns. Most watches can wind bi-directionally. That means every time the winder cycles on, it turns in a different direction. The majority of watches are just fine in a bi-directional winding mode. However, some watches have different specifications, like clockwise or counterclockwise, which you will want to pay attention to before setting the direction. A good watch winder will have all three settings available. As for how much you should pay for a watch winder, to me, it's similar to buying a nice phone case to protect an expensive phone. The cost of your winder should be proportionate to the watch you own. Personally, I got my single winder which retails for $420, originally for a Tudor Ranger. And I got the triple which retails for $1,190 for my Rolexes. Next, choosing a reliable brand is always a good place to start your search. In my opinion, two of the most important attributes for a winder are the ability to rotate in different directions and some sort of delay setting that will allow the watches to rest periodically. But after all, a watch winder is not an absolute essential. If you are into watches like me, you might want to invest a little bit more to keep your favorite timepieces in prime condition with that visual satisfaction. And a winder is one way to accomplish that. 